grandfather's were questions. They are grandfather's questions, father questions. Almost everybody in their family were Christians. And if so, they had some issues of sins, but was not part of worshiping any, any God. They were not submitting themselves to such other things. They were seeking God. So if you, you know, if you go to scripture, you see how God used to be, behave whenever his children was worshiping other things. So when you're going to worship other things, you're opening a door for an access of something else into your life. So sometimes, you know, people are quick to say, I'm going to cancel today's stream, cancel today's stream when there was this thing that they have to fix first. So when you're confronting generational curses and pleading the blood of Jesus, which mainly is when a person is born, they're coming from the mother and the father, you're renouncing this the sins, you, you plead the blood of Jesus Christ repenting. You don't say, my parents sinned. You say, Father, we sinned because you were in your father. So it's you, you are part of the sin. It's as if you participated in the, to this because you have to go and check that verse again, Exodus 20, verse 4 and 5. So when you're addressing, proclaiming the truth of God, allowing the word of God to come and cleanse you so that this demonic spirits that are busy showing up in this, in your dreams, trying to come back and have power over you, because this is not just a dream. This is darkness trying to have an access over you. They want to have part in you. They want to close doors over you so that you cannot receive what you want to receive. They want to come in and block when you want to receive. But when you pray and allow God and allow the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse you because they is deliverance. I want us to open Colossians, Colossians 2 verse 14. Colossians 2 verse 14. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. And then verse 15 says, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Glory to the Lord Jesus. So there is a way out. There is a breakthrough because Jesus made the way out possible. This whole power, Jesus coming to earth, living in this world, dying for us and resurrecting from the dead. This gives us the power to proclaim our freedom. If Jesus did not come and die for us, we wouldn't be able to find the deliverance that we find today. There will be no salvation. We are saved from many things. So God wants us to enjoy your life even while now, not just only hoping for that day when we go to heaven, but having the freedom now. I want to tell you something, beloved of God, is that, you know, I noticed something as I'm in church that they used to bring women who were talking about their kids, that they're struggling to sleep, the problems that they're facing and stuff. What, what, what is happening, and most people who don't understand, especially those who are not born again, is to, they think that when a child is born, they have to be initiated to their ancestors. That's how it's done. And they're scared if they will not initiate these kids to these demonic spirits, that what if the kids die? But they don't understand that the child, when is born, they need to be dedicated to God. So somehow the child needs to be long in a spiritual place. They have to have a God. They need covering. And so that's why some kids then begin to be sick. And because of this sad thing that is happening, our brothers being, our sisters being married to, and un, un, uh, you see, ungodly people or people who suggest that their children should be taken to initiate, initiated and, you know, the things that they have to go through. You don't want the baby to be taken to that place, but you don't want to be bad for allowing the child to die because now you have his his fears and his fears are working on the child and you don't want your, your belief to kill the child. You see? So most people are encountering these issues as if this devil has this divine issues that he's trying to bring on the child. While the child, I'm telling you, can be saved by just submitting the kid to Jesus. When you allow your child to be dedicated to God, he becomes the cover of the child and the child can be free. I've noticed kids that have been dedicated to God, they have this peace in them even when they're sleeping. But when a child has been, you know, 
given to demonic spirits that what that's when they make this rituals they say this is the child they they speak whatever they want to say telling the demonic spirits that they have to come and check over the child this kid has this this thing of being afraid they, now and then they shock they scared they open their eyes they scream they cry because they are in the hands of the devil and now that the child has to grow up this child will have demonic dreams because the child belongs to the demons because they have been initiated in this evil forces. So this whole conversation is not to bring fears. It's to confront first the, the, the covenants that were made, the issues that were made. Some of us did not come from families where Jesus Christ was the only way. We believed in Jesus, but we had some other means consulting the dead. We opened doors that kept us in bondage for years. But the moment we realized that we don't have to do this, we came out of that problem and God set us free for good. So I want to encourage you today, regardless of whatever evil dream that the devil has been giving you for this years. I pray God will give you a revelation of what you must do. Because sometimes, you know, the enemy tries to play things and makes people to forget dreams that they have to remember. Because in some dreams, that's where you can remember. You saw yourself speaking to evil spirits. They said that you belong to them. You having dreams about things saying that they have to come and take you for an assignment. These things are not a mistake. It's because there was a contract. Someone agreed or they gave you over or sometimes you made that direct transaction in the spirit so for you to come out of that place you have to make an agreement to come in prayer and renouncing those demonic spirits guys if you have any questions you may comment them down below this is a very broad and sensitive topic and it's sad because you know some people are still trying to come out of that place and understand what's happening what is this why this thing does not want me to doesn't want to let go of me i'm a christian but what's happening you have to confront that agreement that was made you have to renounce spirits and renounce the dedication that they made when they presented your life to these evil spirits so sometimes it's, it may happen because this is not necessarily saying that if you do not come from a demonic family bloodline, then you will not have spiritual attacks. So if they're trying to put this demonic forces, it's because the enemy wants to have access over you. He wants to have power over you. But glory to Jesus Christ, he has been disarmed. The Bible tells us, telling us that disarming principalities, these this principalities have been disarmed. They don't have any power anymore. So if you you have any questions may you comment them down below and if you want to go on in a prayer i would encourage you to take a moment read the bible allow the words to deeply deeply come into your heart you know this is not about rushing to pray it's about allowing the word to come in the more it comes the bible says faith comes by hearing so when you get this faith scriptures deliverance scriptures you go and check them on the internet you write them down and then you can even use one of these ones that i was sharing today uh colossians 2 verse 14 and you allow these words to come upon you and you also use even the one that says no weapon fashion against you will prosper isaiah 54 verse 17 you can even start from uh 15 16 17 allow these words to come deeply into your heart meditate 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 when you do that the word deeply comes in you you know god can even begin to show you pro uh, messages on how to cancel that thing you know god has given you the power to break whatever that is troubling you you have to understand that god has given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions they're not supposed to have power over you the grace and the power is available i pray God will strengthen you and open your heart and your mind to see how close your deliverance is available. Just receive it in the spirit by doing these things that I'm sharing with you that get this word into your heart. Break the power of the enemy by starting first to renounce the sins and repent. Allow the blood of Jesus to cleanse you. And, and, I, and here's another thing that I would also want to give is that you have to start living a godly lifestyle. You have to give your life fully to God. You have to live a fully 
life that is going to be dedicated to the Lord. Let's not open windows for the enemy because he's also hoping for that one door, that opportunity he wants to break us and anything like that because he hates God and he hates us. So, and if you ever feel like you have surely fallen short of his grace, his mercy is available, but we have to live a godly life. Let's, let's desire to live a godly life. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon you. I love you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I pray that may God deeply make this message so clear to you that the enemy won't hide anything that God is saying to you through this message. In Jesus' name, I love you. Bye for now.